Yes, I'm back with a new video and this is with my old camera because uh, the new one uh, has a annoying buzz going through the videos and I don't want that. Um, another thing is that this, I don't know much, this lady is from Portugal and I asked her hi, how I could call her and she gave me her phone number and I should have asked what's your name uh, because I don't know this lady's name but that's okay so apologies for this language thing she's from portugal i'm from the netherlands so we are trying to meet each other somewhere in the middle using english and she asked me if i could check her house if there were some entities or maybe something demonic or whatever and um, yes camera is working and I'm going to randomly go through her pictures to see what's going on um, the front of her house is and that's Darth Vader I love Darth Vader I'm a huge Star Wars fan so just ignore that um, it's a very traditional home I will show you the home it's a home, it's a house, but it's too normal. It's a beautiful blue sky and perfect reflections in the windows. Nothing there for me to see. There's somebody working on something down below there. Bend over a brick wall and the stairs upstairs, uh, stairs going up. And the home has a number four which is the chinese number of death which is um weird but not something you should worry about and as you can see it's a great thing that the windows open there because it looks more alive these ones are close and it gives you some kind of deadish feel like the house is abandoned or whatever. Um, then we go through to the side of the house and I will show you the side of the house which is like so. It's a beautiful home and the balcony is nice. In this case all windows are open which gives it more of a life kind of feel the stairs have a little how do you call that I don't know fence or whatever to keep people going up and down that don't belong here there and you can sit there in the shadow and enjoy the weather and the view and so on but it's too normal it has a I will just mention this later this is street view I think this is again really normal for Portugal and Spanish and also French kind of locations it's normal and I see four cats that's a good sign the cats but you have to be a cat person to like that if you're not a cat person then you probably don't feel ex so excited like I am it's quite isolated even though I see a little bit of a car there it's no, no, no nobody cycling or whatever I think the gardens must be beautiful um, she didn't send me um, I asked her to send me a picture of the sinks because I have a feeling that there's something wrong with the plumbing but it's not the I was looking for something like this I asked her to send me pictures of this but I can 
get a feel for what's going on the energy that's there um, let's go back to the bathroom and I will share this with you there are towels and it's a little bit cramped or crowded it's um, it has a bathtub that, which is great and a toilet and bidet and a sink and it looks it's functional but it's not attractive shower curtains I love shower curtains instead of normal curtains but shower curtains in a bath room are always a little bit creepy because somebody could stand behind the curtain with some kind of machete or something ready to kill you or drown you or choke you to death in that shower curtain plastic stuff um, but this is part of the problem um, what I feel is that a healthy energy flow isn't there it's not present normally if a house is alive and there are people really living and celebrating life there is a healthy flow going on around the house and inside the house and that's not happening there there are no magazines there is it's clean it's too clean you know um if you are my age which is 46 or you are older then um, having a proper and clean and clear house is a sign of being a good hardworking woman or housewife or grandmother and these days people are looking for homes that are inviting and where a little bit of mess is going on because there are pets uh, and there are children and there is stuff laying around like magazines or books or just something um, maybe some bread on the sink or in the sink or on the in the kitchen or somebody just made a beautiful sandwich or the house smells like uh, a beautiful stew and it's inviting and i know this because my uh, ex mother-in-law was a she's a sweet sweetheart but um when i was young and i Pay them a visit bringing my children or before i brought my children into their home and i was reading a magazine and i decided to just go outside for a bit and uh, go to the bathroom and go to the kitchen to get myself a drink and i would come back in the living room and the magazine i was reading was just gone it was um back to the place my grand ex mother-in-law thought it should be there um, I'm not sure if it is normal English um, so people that are my age or older tend to have this urge to clean things too much and I'm guilty of this thing too because a few days ago I found myself on a sort of ladder scrubbing the ceiling of my kitchen not just the walls and the tiles but the floor but also the ceiling and what kind of person scrubs the ceiling of a kitchen and i know if you want to sell your home a lot of uh, these people that help you sell your house um, convince you and make you believe that you should keep your house as organized and clean as possible that you can overdo it in making things look beautiful and clean because too clean is making the alive vibe disappear uh, it's if it's a 
it's like window shopping or going to some kind of mall where they um, show you how to what kind of kitchen you can have or what kind of bathroom or what kind of living room or whatever and there's not much going on there and I think that this is part of the problem because it's even though there are some there is something hanging over the side a towel hanging over the side of the bathtub and whatever it's too clean and too organized and if you combine the number four the chinese number of death plus um, the neatness or cleanness uh, and the um, organized kind of way it's presented it's it loses the vibe of a home which is bringing you joy and fun and good times and will create beautiful memories it's like by organizing and cleaning all the good memories are vanished and polished away and things like that so we had the front of the house the side of the house the view of the road we have the bathtub and i know i think this person mentioned that she had reiki one and i suggest you start using reiki because it brings it reboots the flow or the energy flow a healthy happy soothing inviting kind of energy and you can start by just sitting in your home keeping your palms outward and fill the home with reiki energies and my advice is to if you expect people to visit your home to have some flowers on the table and um, leave a book open laying around uh, maybe some flip-flops or um, things like that and the smell of food always brings relaxation and peace but um, as you can see I hope you can see this it's I think the kitchen looking at the table I think this is the kitchen and again it's there's nothing wrong with it but it's too normal I don't see candles I don't see a beautiful sandwich or a magazine or a book or flowers or some candles on the table that's it's again too normal and it's if nobody's living there and that's not really how a house is supposed to feel so um another oh this is beautiful um nice high ceiling with an ornament on hanging there and I see some flowers I'm not sure if they are real or fake and it's again there's nothing wrong with it but it's too empty and it's not that this house is empty but it's empty as if nobody wants to live there it looks like nobody lives there no books no magazines no rubbish no no sign of life which is extremely weird and this will i don't know i'm not sure about this one and again a beautiful bed I wish I had a bed like that this is awesome it's beautiful but one it's small like it's not supposed to 
have two people in it so that's a little bit of a problem i would love to have one of my daughters in a bed like this because it's a really girly bed and that is a problem i think it's a crucifix hanging dangling above the bed which is sort of a exorcism it's not a thing i think that people want to see if they enter a home it gives off a feeling of desperation and the need to protect yourself because maybe you are under attack or you're about to be attacked or something like that and this is that nice beautiful place again but i see there a bible in on a small cabinet so i don't know i think these days it's totally okay to trust jesus and believe in god and to um, be in touch with the christ consciousness but if you want to sell your home fill it with all sorts of deathness that is kind of things because uh, number four no healthy energy flow um, too neat and organized and that catholic kind of death ish thing going on in the living room and in the bar in the bedroom then that's not really and again I think we have seen all of it now it's too there's nothing there there is a laptop of course and there's some fruit on the table and and this house is really ready for new owners but it's not inviting it's too neat and too organized and filled with nothingness and filled with fear and filled with death and death i don't mean that this person is going to die or whatever it's just the energy uh, that life has come to an end there and that there is no future anymore in that house so if you're asking yourself why is this house invisible because it's without life without a proper healthy energy flow and full of death fear and ending now i am going to just see if my cards can give me some advice on what's going on there and i will just focus and concentrate let the card speak to me and pick one um and i know it's dutch but it's ending fragile sooner or later death will arrive so that sort of confirms what i just told you and i have to see if i can find a card that sort of guides me into the right direction of future owners and how so you can make your house more attractive by leaving things behind like an open book uh, a piece of cake or a pie or leave some stew on the stove or place some flowers or things like that um, books are important flowers are important food is important just some bonds on a um, wooden block and if people want to take a peek leave the windows open remove the curtains you don't have to invite people in literally because thieves and so on uh, burglars you don't want that but if people are interested and they bump into a house that has closed curtains they 
can't become interested then it just looks like a empty bunker so you don't want that um, so flowers in front of the window a book that's open a magazine with interesting things you can leave little messages behind for future owners that makes them interested and make your house inviting and um, a sandwich here and there or an old bun you have to invest in tiny little things and a um, of course it's important to keep your house clean but uh, I will add uh, if you are okay with this uh, some Reiki into it angelic energies and if you are interested um, I think you can do this yourself if you have these pictures and you print them out you can charge your home with Reiki energies that will help also and I have two cards here um, if you do all that then there will be beautiful surprises and an ending to your suffering or despair or whatever uh, you have to oh that's very nice I'm happy with this one um, a sacred dance instinct uh, feeling connected with your home because I know in your heart you already said goodbye to your home you already um, disconnected from your home you are not living there anymore of course you sleep there you eat there you watch television there you are on the computer there you are in the kitchen making your food but your soul is already gone your soul left the place and that's a problem that's because it looks dead so three cards is enough another thing i want to check if there are entities in your home um so i think i explained the invisible thing um and i explained um what's ahead of you if you charge your home again with and another thing is you have to tap into old memories and bring them back to life because if you don't the house will have a deadish empty lost feel to it but if you remember all the good times you had in that home uh, maybe your mom your dad uh, sisters brothers family visiting um, company friends um, just looking at the sunset or the sunrise uh, seeing bats flying around or maybe an owl or kids playing uh, on the floor with little bikes and so on uh, leave some toys if you want to besides magazines uh, food flowers maybe some toys from kids or whatever and leave the curtains open so people can look into your house uh, things like that don't be as clean as you are now because it's not good for you and it's not good for selling the place because you want people to be interested and have this feeling of warmth when they look in and enter your home then there are no entities there is, however, something demonic and you don't have to be scared of, no, you don't have to be afraid. It's just that uh, the future you, uh, the past you, you, the person you were in the past and the ones that uh, lived before there, lived there before you, have created these orb kind of beings that look like spiders and spiders always mean being trapped and that holds you even though your soul has moved on to the next phase in your life something keeps you there something holds you back something has trapped you inside that home and you don't want to be there anymore but 
these beings from the past want to hold on to you they sort of keep you to bound to this place and they want don't want you to move on literally physically because then there is nothing left for them to enjoy so you have to find a fine delicate balance between cherishing and nurturing good memories and looking forward to the future that fine line between past and future so you have to ground yourself here and now and you have to enjoy find a way to enjoy the last moments in your house by really enjoying it look back on beautiful mem memories look back on a lot of laughter look back on nice company and friends uh, look back on maybe pets look back on whatever was going on in your life and um, just tap into all the beautiful things that happened in your life while you were living in that home so no entities um, something demonic that look like spiders I you have to really charge the walls place your hands on the walls charge them with Reiki if you want me to help you please let me know I will charge them with angelic energies and these crucifix Bible kind of things I don't think that's the right energy for you anymore I think you should move on to something more light and bright and fun uh, the reason why people like IKEA is because it's colorful it's simple it's cheap it's lively it's bright and you can say a lot of th bad things about I IKEA but the fact that people like to just have a rock or whatever some more bring it bring your house back to life and the way you do that is bringing back bring it thinking back on all the fun thing that fun things that happened there and the beautiful things that happened there and uh, don't clean up as much as you do now so i think this this is enough for now and if you want me to help you a little bit more please let me know okay um see you next time bye